Now this has got to be about the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a long time. This is a new, I'm assuming OSHA approved. We, had, we just put an extension on it so it actually go somewhere. But this says stop and pour and you got a little lever. The whole idea is to try to dummy proof a gas can. But for Pete's sake, if you can't pour gas out of a gas can, then without hurting yourself, I don't know, I don't get it. And maybe they're trying to make it so even a guy who can't pour water out of a boot with the instructions written on the heel can use a gas can. But talk about irritating. That's why I've I've gone to the even more approved type. The OSHA approved, <laughs> or maybe not so approved, soda can full of gas. That's what I'm that is what I am priming the carburetors with. I know we all need instructions. Here's a demonstration. When you tip it, gas comes out. You tip it back up, it stops coming out. I know that's tough, that's a little hard to handle, a little hard to understand, but you know, it's that whole nanny state thing I reckon, and they got to give you some funky doohickey like this, I don't know what in the Sam Hill they were thinking, anyway, somehow you got to, you know, direct this end with one hand, push down on this with one hand, and with the third hand you got to pull this stupid lever. And, and open it like that. This is ridiculous. You're just trying to do too many things at once and you end up spilling gas everywhere. It's really a pain in the neck. It's, it, it's good intentions I suppose but my goodness. Talk about going around the block to cross the street. This is a, your example right here. Well looky here. It's a real gas can. Now nothing's going to spill out of this with all the lids on it. And when you're ready to pour gas, all you got to do is unscrew the lid, pop, pop this little piece out of here, set it to the side, pull your nozzle out, that's right, and stick it through there, and then screw it on, there you go, and back here. You take this guy, you take this lid off or loose, depends on how much flow you want. And then, when you tip the can, look at this. Look at that. Fuel come out. Imagine that. You tip it back up, it stops. Go figure. Who'd have thunk? Oh, well, I guess uh, if it ain't broke, you gotta fix it, right?